I started becoming interested in sustainability when I was in sixth grade. Um, and I had a teacher that kind of really inspired me, and he basically told all of us, he's like, the world is going to end if you guys don't do something about it. Um, and at such a young age, that was really, really scary. Um, and so I kind of was like, I need to do something about it. Um, and so in middle school, I was really just like scared about our future. Um, but I started implementing little things in my home life. Um, I started kind of researching like how I could be more sustainable. Um, and I started talking to my family about it and they were all on board of like, okay, we need to move towards this. You're really passionate about this, right? When I got to high school, I started saying, okay, well, I've kind of helped myself. Um, at that point, I was a vegetarian, and I still am, and that's for environmental reasons. Um, but I kind of was like, I need to help my community too. So I started volunteering at a farm called Soilborn Farms close to my house, um, and they're a regenerative agricultural farm. Um, and basically, they're just working to provide for the community and also provide for the land. Um, and so I did an internship with them. I still continue to volunteer with them. Um, and then kind of later on in my high school career, I was still doing a bunch of other community service at like the American River Park right next to my house. Um, I tend to go and clean up trash every weekend with my mom when I can. Um, and then my senior year, I introduced a food scraps recycling program on our campus. And that was kind of a big thing of tackling like the emissions that come from food waste. Um, and that was kind of a big way of saying like, okay, how can I jump in on helping the environment and helping my community as well, right? Because all of the compost we were generating would go to farmers in the area and then it would come back to our school. So it was this really nice circularity um, thing and that kind of tied into the circular innovation challenge I'd done the summer before here at Lewis and Clark. Circularity um, basically is the idea of, you can kind of think of a line versus a circle. So our economy, for the most part, is linear. Um, and that basically means it's like you produce an item, or we get the raw materials for an item. We produce an item, we use the item, um, and then it goes to the landfill, or some area where it's not going to be used again. Uh, but the idea of circularity is we make the item, we use the item, and then someone else gets to reuse that item, right? And it's this full circle idea. And this kind of goes with not just items, right? There's a lot of ideas in sustainability and with the environment where it's not just like, oh, you use an item and you're going to use it again, right? But it's the whole idea of like reduce, reuse, recycle. It's that kind of reuse element. Um, and so that was basically the core of the Circular Innovation Challenge was how can we find a way to move towards a circular economy as a whole? Um, and what was really cool about this challenge was it was about like 50 of us here on campus and Early on, they broke us into small groups, and our kind of whole mission for the week was to work on pitching ideas in these small groups. And our ideas could be anything, like it was fully up to us, and so it was a great way for us to just brainstorm and collaborate. Um, and in these groups, we ended up um, coming up with ideas that would fit the circular economy, and that was basically the main principle of our idea was it just had to be circular. And so with my group, we ended up coming up with a toy subscription service for younger kids. Um, it was mainly like toddlers and below that we focused on in this pitch because it was only a week long, so we couldn't do much more. Um, but we basically engineered this idea where we could have like these toys that were taken from sustainable sources. Um, and we did a lot of research of like, toy stores in the Portland area, right, that actually were sustainable and that we could take things from. And then we um, basically compiled those and thought of like, okay, well, how are we going to clean them when we give the toys to people? How are we going to deal with them when they reach their end of life cycle? Um, and we compiled it in a way that we felt like, okay, this is fully circular. Um, and the really cool thing was we ended up winning our pitch um, because the judges were impressed with just how circular it really was. Um, but there were so many cool ideas that week and it was a really fun way to see like the creativity that even if you're not in the sustainable world or you're not interested in environmental studies, um, circularity still has a big piece in like any aspect of our lives. A big takeaway I had for Lewis and Clark was just the community here. 
Um, I really felt like that week I was really nervous coming onto campus um, because I had been here before, but it was just for like unofficial tours, um, just kind of walking around. So I didn't really know any of the people or the staff here. Um, and so I was really nervous. Um, I didn't know anyone who was going to be in my group or anything. And I got here and everyone was just so welcoming, um, especially the staff. Uh, the people in the, who run the entrepreneurship program in the Bates Center are just the sweetest people ever. Um, and I just had a really good time being in this super close-knit community. And obviously this was on a much smaller scale. There really wasn't that many people on campus. It was the middle of the summer. Uh, but I really felt like this was a community where people cared and they cared about making change too. And that kind of was one of my big takeaways from um, like not just about Lewis and Clark, but also just about like sustainability in general too, was like Lewis and Clark was going to be a place where I felt like I could make change. Um, and I think looking at this sustainability challenge and like the circularization challenge, um, I kind of saw like, okay, there's so many aspects of sustainability and environmentalism that I can go into. Um, because people always ask me, they're like, well, you've been interested in environmental studies fields for so long, what do you want to do with your life? And I honestly have no clue. Um, because there are so many aspects of environmentalism that I'm interested in. And kind of looking at this challenge, I felt like there were so many aspects I could go into, so many fields. Um, but I don't think that was a bad thing. I think that kind of just inspired me to keep moving forward in the field. Um, and then to also kind of explore out of, outside of it. Um, and so I just thought it was really nice to be able to have all of these um, really amazing professionals who like there was an alum from Lewis and Clark and then there was a like, former CEO. Um, and so people who have been at all ranges of life and they were all incorporating this circularity like into their lives in some aspect. Um, and so I just felt like this is something I could move forward with. Um, and I think that challenge really gave me the tools to feel like I can go do something big with my life.